It's interesting. This is now, I think, the longest running study of its kind. It's taken us years to learn enough about this bay so that we feel pretty confident that we, uh, we understand what we're seeing and can put it into now a 12, 13 year context. The work of years to build up enough of a baseline to really appreciate what the interplay is of different forces and different fish and to start noticing patterns and also noticing trends. But we're the way station in between and we're sort of the last look at salmon as they head out to sea. We get the first look at salmon as they come back and that's critical right now because we're learning that the islands are where juvenile Chinook do most of their growth before they leave Washington State. At this time of year, finding mostly pinks and chums is normal. You are pink, just a very big one. Next time we're out in a couple of weeks, we should start seeing the first little king salmon and they'll come in with the pinks and chums like this and just swim underneath them as individuals rather than as big schools. I think we might have found one little king that's <laughs> hiding out with <laughs> 3,000 pinks. You want to try one, try your luck one more time? Do you think we're seeing what we're going to see? Well, you never know until we pull it in. <laughs> Most of the Puget Sound, as opposed to Fraser River king salmon, come through the islands in June and um, we'll have a pretty good idea by the end of June whether it's a good year or a bad year. We have been seeing far fewer king salmon here for five years now. It's been a, a sharp drop off. One thing we've learned from our work over this last 12 years or so is that Chinook more than ch chum or pinks are incredibly sensitive to water temperature. The big wave of juvenile Chinook salmon coming through the islands has uh, is now about a month earlier than it was when we started in 2008. And we think that's avoiding heat, that, that the kings are just leaving the rivers earlier, getting out to the islands as fast as their little fins can carry them, stuffing themselves and then continuing on their way. Here's the silver spot. Oh, look at that. Isn't that a pretty fish? Oh my gosh, that's <laughs> wow, that's a nice one.